thinking about the past and planning for the future. A few days after the New Year's party, Martin and Tina discuss their hopes and plans. Did you make any New Year's resolutions for this year? In the end, I plan to go to the gym more often. Exercise is a real passion of mine. Be careful not to get an injury. I won't. I even talked my wife into going with me. How about you? I've started a healthy diet. That's a good resolution. How do you plan to keep to it? I'm cutting down on candy. Sometimes I feel like I'm starving, but I just eat more fruits and vegetables. How will you keep yours? I won't make excuses to skip a day at the gym. It's hard, but it's important. Yes, keeping New Year's resolutions can be challenging, especially when our expectations are high. You're right. Let's help each other stick to our resolutions this year. Agreed. Here's to a healthy and productive new year. Welcome back, everyone, to English for You. I'm Adam. I'm Chickling. And our last article, we were talking about a conversation being had with Martin and Tina, and they were talking about maybe their accomplishments and what they need to do. To have a better year,、mm -hmm. and some of their successes and some of their、uh, failures, and now we're going to continue and see what more is happening in their conversation. So, everyone, our article starts off by saying, "A few days after the New Year's party, Martin and Tina discuss their hopes and plans." So we see in that sentence, "discuss," and "discuss" is a verb. It basically means this. Is talking to share thoughts, ideas, and to understand different viewpoints on a topic. So we could use an example: is we need to discuss our summer vacation plans before leaving for the airport, or before leaving for the airport, which I always need to do with my wife because she'll be like, Adam, did you look over the plans? And I said, No, I did not look over. <laughs> She's like, Come on, we need to discuss. We need to go from here to here to here. <laughs> OK， 所以 discuss 就是讨论哦。那如果讨论某事跟某人，就是 to discuss something with someone。那我们可以用 talk about 来说。All right， and、like、do you、yeah. like you can say I want to talk about something with you. I want to discuss something with you. Yeah， I would say when you say discuss， at least as a、uh, native speaker， when you're like，、mm -hmm. hey， I want to discuss something with you， it is almost more important. Is something is kind of more important just、deep. than yeah， more、mm -hmm. deep than to say hey。Let's let's talk about something.、Mm, it's more、uh, casual. Yes, exactly. And so let's see what they are discussing. What Tina and Martin are discussing. So Tina says, "Did you make any New Year's resolutions for this year?" In the end, and what does that mean? So means what happened at least or after everything else. Okay, so in the end, 就是最后 and then Tina 就问了 Martin 说，哎，那么你最后没有替今年定下任何新年的目标吗 ？Resolution, a resolution 就是决心。所以呢，啊，你下决心去做什么事，就是 make a resolution to do something。所以新年的目标我们叫做 New Year's resolutions. Ah,、uh, New Year's resolutions. Yes, I need、mm -hmm. to make New Year's resolutions.、Mm -hmm. uh, but Martin then says, I plan to go to the gym more often. He says, "Exercise is a real passion of mine," and then there we see the word "passion," which is a noun, and it means really liking or caring about something a lot, to have a deep interest in something. So, for me, an example would be cooking. Has been a passion of mine ever since my mom taught me how to cook. Oh, so passion is what you love. 就是你的热情，你的兴趣。所以 something is a passion of mine. 指的就是某事是我的热情。所以你可以说 cooking is a passion of yours, or traveling is a passion of mine. 那你当然也可以说 to have a passion for something. 那它的形容词是 passionate. 比如说 ，the crowd were carried away by his passionate speech. 这边的 carried away 指的就是很兴奋，然后失去控制哦。So right now we know that Martin plans to go to the gym more often. That's right. He's passionate about it, and it's a big passion of his. So then Tina says, "Be careful not to get an injury." Oh. Oh. So be careful. Don't get an injury. He says. She says to him, "An injury is a noun. Is." 
harm or damage to the body, often causing pain or a disability. So, oh, oh, I can't go to work today. I'm injured. Oh, no, okay, I have to walk away. But an example would be I suffered an injury when I was playing basketball last month. My ankle twisted and I had trouble walking on it. Injury 就是伤害或者是受伤，头部的受伤 ，a head injury； 脚部腿的受伤 ，a leg injury； 或者是手臂 ，an arm injury。那这个字是来自于动词 injure， 它就是伤害、受伤、损害。那当然不只是身体上的受伤，损害到一件事情、一个地方都 OK。比如说 ，this incident could seriously injure the company's reputation. 那么我们把它变成形容词 ，the injured 就是伤者，比如就是统称所有受伤的人。The injured were rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. All right. So jumping back to our article, it says Martin now says, "I won't. I even talked my wife into going with me. How about you?" And there, in that sentence, we see talk somebody into verb ing something. So you're trying to convince someone to do something by talking and persuading them. 嗯，那又出现了。We talked about this phrase yesterday. 啊、uh, ，这个就是是说服 ，to talk someone into doing something， 说服某人做某事。那 day one 我们讲到的是 persuade someone to do something. Oh, okay. So、mm. now Tina says, I've Started a healthy diet. Good for Tina. Yeah, so good for you. All veggies and fruits, protein.、Uh, yeah, I think so.、Mm. Like, oh, but I could not eat all veggies and fruits all day. <laughs> I do need my meat.、Uh, <laughs> and then Martin then answers by saying, "That's a good resolution. How do you plan to keep it? And then keep to something, or how do you plan to keep to it? Which means keep to something." And it means just to stick or stay with a particular thing or plan or path. So a lot of times you'll say, "Oh, you guys were losing on the team. We're gonna lose this game." And you're just like, "No, come on, keep to it or keep doing it. Keep to something. Keep playing your best.、Mm-hmm. So keep to it." 所以呢 ，keep to to something 就是遵循、信守。所以如果嗯、um, 你要说，那你怎么坚持你接下来要做的事情呢 ？How do you plan to keep to it？ 你打算如何坚持自己的目标呢 ？Yeah， and so how does Tina plan to keep to it？、Mm-hmm. She says， I'm cutting down on candy. Sometimes I feel like I'm starving， but I just eat more fruits and vegetables. How will you keep yours？、Mm-hmm. So Tina, in that sentence, says she's cutting down on candy, and sometimes she says, "But I'm starving." We hear the word "starving," which is an adjective. It means being extremely hungry and in need of food. An example we could say is, "I forgot to eat lunch today, and by dinner time, I was absolutely starving." I'm starving right now. Starving 就是很饿，非常的饿，比 hungry 还要来的饿。那它是来自于嗯、um, 动词 starve， 所以你可以说 the poor the poor starve while the rich feast， 就是呢穷人一直很饿，然后富人呢吃很好。所以 Tina 就说呢，当他觉得饿的时候，尽量吃蔬菜水果，比较不容易发胖。But there's sugar in fruits too. Yeah. So be careful. <laughs> Don't eat too much. Well, Jio to Tina, and hopefully she keeps not eating、mm-hmm. so much candy, and she sticks to eating her fruits and vegetables. Well, Martin's response is, "I won't make excuses to skip a day at the gym. It's hard, but it's important." Yeah, it's hard not to skip a day at the gym. I know. I sometimes when I wake up, <laughs> I just do not want to go. Or sometimes when you do go, you kind of skip sometimes too because you're just like maybe on the bicycle, <laughs> and then you're watching your phone and you're not really doing anything.、Yeah. You're like, why am I even here at the gym? <laughs> But then Tina responds by answering, "Yes, keeping New Year's resolutions can be challenging, especially when our expectations are high."、Hmm. And in that we see especially, especially, and, and it's an adverb. It means very much or mostly, showing something is important. It is used basically, you guys, to emphasize something. So an example would be, I like playing all types of video games, but 
I especially like <laughs> fighting games. Okay, so especially 就是特别是，尤其是。So what is the difference between especially and specially? Usually, especially we use it to talk about specially. We use it to talk about the specific purpose of something. 它就是有特意专门的。But especially is more like particularly. But sometimes we can also use especially for、um, the specific purpose of something. 但通常的 specially 是指专门的意思。所以我可以说，嗯 ，I love flowers. Especially roses, 或者是呢 ，the ring was specially designed for her. So specially 是特制、特定为她设计的。那像我们刚刚讲的 ，especially 呢，当尤其也可以当特定的意思。那我们又要看到名词 expectation， 这是期望的意思。所以要坚持新年目标会有挑战性，特别是你有很高的期望的时候。So in that sentence, Tina was talking about. And expectations. Sometimes we set our expectations too high. And expectation is a noun. It means what people hope or think will happen. So an example would be everyone. The movie we saw last week didn't meet my expectations. It was disappointing. So the movie was not what I hoped it to be. It was disappointing. It did not meet my expectations. 所以呢，去符合谁的期望，就是 to meet one's expectations。嗯，它的动词是 expect。所以有一个片语叫做 only to be expected， 代表东西是你有预料之中的。比如说 ，a little nervousness is to be expected when you are starting a new job。或者是你今天 pregnant， 你今天 pregnant 就是你怀孕了，你也可以说 be expecting a baby。比如说 ，it's hard work moving house when you're expecting a baby。It is, yeah. You have to, you have to call everyone, aunts and uncles, grandma and grandpas. Hey, help us with the baby.、Um, but then Martin responds by saying, "You're right. Let's help each other stick to our resolutions this year." And so he's telling her to stick to something. And we see stick to something means to keep doing it and not to give up. Hmm. 所以呢，啊、um, ，就是遵守啦 ，stick to。那我们通常都说 ，we should stick to our plan， 或者是我们今天讲的，嗯、um, ，resolutions， 或者是 goals 都 OK。就是你遵守这一些，所以这一年就让我们互相帮助，坚持达成我们的新年目标吧。Yeah, a lot of times on social media, people have the expectation that they're gonna post and everyone's gonna like it, and then they realize, oh no. I'm only getting a couple likes or follows or whatever the case may be. So if you're really passionate about it, you should stick to it.、Mm. And Tina agreed. She says, "Agreed. Here's to a healthy and productive new year." 嗯，通常我们说 here's to something 就是祝我们怎么样，然后通常都是我们在说 cheers 的时候会讲的。所以 productive 就是富有成效或成果丰硕的。所以，假如你今天做很多事情啊，你可以说 Oh, it's been a productive day for me. I did so many things. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think Tina and Martin had a really good discussion about、mm -hmm. what they need to do.、Yeah. How their plans and their goals for their New Year's resolutions are coming,、uh, coming into form, and what they're really thinking about doing. And it's important to have somebody to talk to you about that、mm -hmm. when you know you're making these kind of resolutions. But for everyone out there, for our for you chat question、mm -hmm. for this one is, why is it difficult for many people to keep their New Year's resolutions? It's all the laziness, <laughs> <laughs> right? You're, you're right.、Though. I know, right? If you really think you should do something, but sometimes just get lazy, and then you're just、oh, okay. I'll do it tomorrow, and then you never forget. You never remember to do it. You're exactly right. I agree with you. I also think that, you know, <laughs> you know, you expect so much, right? You're like the first week, and then <laughs> you stick to it, and then it gets harder and harder and harder. And like you said, it gets you get lazy, and you don't get that. Result right away, right?、Mm -hmm. You you want that result right now, like on、mm -hmm. January second. You want your result,、yeah. and that's not how New Year's resolutions work. They take time.、Mm, but what what do you think we can do to prevent this from happening? Ah,、uh, I think you can write a schedule, or with everyone with their cell phones, have a reminder. You know,、mm -hmm. have a bell on their phone that you know, hey, try to get it done today, or 
Uh, just, you know, a friendly reminder that this is your New Year's resolution and stick to it, Nis. Or maybe think about how great you will feel when you've actually accomplished something that you really want to do. Right, so like yeah. you want to lose weight? Well, think about how many beautiful clothes you'll be able to wear. <laughs> and then you are going to do your job. Not the health issue, just the beautiful clothes. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you're right. I agree with you. And I also think maybe having a group of people together oh. in your New Year's resolution, that could help you, you know, because a lot of people like competitiveness, right? Mm -hmm, Who mm -hmm. can win? And so if maybe you have a couple or more people, That might help you with your goals. Mm. So for you guys, Think why is it, it. difficult mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. many new people or for many people to keep their New Year's resolutions? Ask your classmates and see what you can do to keep yours. Hmm. My name is AJ. And I am Chickling. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Vocabulary Review Discuss If you can't meet the due date for the project, please let me know and we can discuss it. Passion Rebecca has a passion for reading. She finishes many books every month. Injury George was so lucky. He didn't get any injuries in the terrible car accident. Starving I was in a hurry today. So I didn't eat breakfast or lunch. Now I'm starving. Especially. Jack loves Marvel movies, especially Captain America the Winter Soldier. That's his favorite. Expectation. Greg's dish didn't meet the judge's expectations, so he didn't reach the next round of the cooking show. Resolution Productive